Norman allowed us a peek at Peter Rabbit, Miss Potter. We found it utterly charming. I have decided that you and I are going to be friends. Have you? It's been over 10 years since Babe director Chris Noonan got behind the camera. For his new film, Miss Potter, he chose not to return to his hometown of Australia because shooting Down Under was just too modern for the period film. Instead, he chose London for the early 1900s setting. He says the old city provided the necessary look for Victorian England. I've come from Australia where it's a very young country and everything's sort of very new looking, like America. You know, it's a relatively new looking place. Britain and London in particular, there's a lot of areas of London which just look exactly the way they did, except for a few sort of parking meters or, you know, the odd touch here and there. And as long as you can deal with those and get rid of traffic lights and <laughs> that kind of thing, uh, then, you know, you have Victorian, Victorian England. England is so used to being a resource for olden times, Noonan says they even maintain museums to serve just that purpose. There are a number of organizations in Britain where they, they're like museums for trains, where you can order up a train of the right vintage and, you know, what color do you want the carriages and what sort of style of, of uh, locomotive do you want? And, uh, and it's all possible to put that together. And, uh, you know, we're very blessed to be able to have that. And, you know, if I was shooting this in Australia, we would have had no chance whatsoever. The next period piece for Noonan will be set during apartheid times in 1970s South Africa, based on the true story of an under 15 year old soccer team who strived to become multiracial. I've given your book a great deal of attention. Which other books have you supervised? Personally? Yes. This will be my first. Ah. I'm in every way at your service. 